How's it going everyone? Sephir here and welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. This is going to be day 33 in the Ultimate Guide series and we have a ton of important information as everything is going to be resetting for the week. So let's go ahead and talk about all that because there's going to be a ton of important things that we're going to need to go over as well as the fast approach of Claudia and Artificial Island 1.5 patched. So tons of important topics to cover here. So we're going to give you the breakdown first, and that's going to include the news and everything that's super important in the first part of the video. Then we will have the speedrun daily checklist as well as the extra daily checklist and the after all that section to keep you on track with your day-to-day -day goals. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Claudia is going to be approaching on September 15th. She's coming with the 1.5 patch with Artificial Island. And in a world where every character is getting nerfed on global arrival, Claudia is not not getting nerfed. She's actually getting the opposite. She's getting buffed with some of her skills and her damage. It's not going to push her like so far ahead of everyone, but it will definitely make a difference. She will come out very strong, and it is very likely that we will see a meta change or shift based on Claudia. So my prediction right now is Claudia Shiro Nemesis becoming one of the top teams when she finally does release, and I think that will hold true until we get some of the later characters in 2.0 so this will be interesting to kind of play around with so i just want to let everybody know and be aware of that i am doing some testing with claudia on the test servers and i will release some results as we get closer to that date so i'm going to show you what a six star claudia looks like i'm going to show you what her skills looks like and how she plays out Okay, so that's going to be some very important information so that you could use that to determine whether or not you want to pool for claudia Next, after that, we have Artificial Island that we talked about that will also be coming out on September 15th. And with that is going to come the new boss, the Interdimensional Frost Dragon, as well as housing and crafting. There's a whole new island and zone to explore with tons of supply pods, scenic points, treasure chests, and even different encounters like developer quest logs and all kinds of cool stuff. So we're going to see a lot of things coming in the future, and I will have many guides covering the complete entirety of Artificial Island so be looking forward to that. Next, we're going to get into the weekly stuff. Level 63 is coming on Monday, and you need to be prepared. You should have quite a bit of experience right now. Hopefully, you're very close to leveling up. I'm getting there with my Vitality today and my Frontier Clash that I'm going to finalize. I should be capped on XP. So the goal for today is going to be to aim for cap so that you can immediately hit level 63 on Monday and take advantage of that level boost on the fresh reset. So once you have that covered, then I did want to talk about Frontier Clash a little bit more. I know some people are struggling with Frontier Clash right now. If you are on Solaris server, I'm going to be streaming every single day on Twitch now. I'm going to start YouTube streams again here soon, especially as we get closer to Artificial Island. But right now I'm taking the time to get my Twitch up because I want to get Twitch drops enabled so I can start getting those for you guys. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing at 5.30 p.m. EST every day. Official tar start time is 6 p.m. In, but we always prep a little bit before that so go ahead and check that out on my twitch.tv slash and we're doing frontier clash carries because that's going to be important we can get you guys four chests but i know it's hard to get uh chests right now especially if you're pugging it or going alone but my best advice would be to make sure that you're taking advantage of the crow jetpack thing at the moment that's going to be very strong try to play with people in your crew or find a crew that actually does these things because you get a 40 percent damage bonus bonus boost per person if you are all in the same crew which is absolutely massive and will make the difference between like one to two chest bonus just for you on that buff alone and then finally after that i would take advantage of shiro's ability in team play because shiro is very strong at three stars as well as one star so at one star she can increase all damage by 30 percent while the target is within her one skill full bloom and then she also adds grievous for 20 percent more so that's 50% boosted damage for your team, which is absolutely massive. So synergizing a little bit well should help you guys get more boxes. But again, at the end of the day, finding a solid team to play with, finding a crew to play with is going to be key because remember that Tower of Fantasy is an MMO. 
and not just a solo player game. So hopefully you can get into those avenues. And if you are struggling to find a good crew, check out my Discord. The link should be down below. We have people from all over the world, Europe and Asia and North America, playing in all kinds of places. So there's crews advertising in there. So get into one of those. That should help you out quite a lot. So with that out of the way, let's go into the resets. The most important one that we need to talk about, Bygone Phantasm, is coming up. The reset for it is going soon. My bracket is kind of sweaty. I got a guy at 325. I still have a lot of ways to go. I have not capped out yet. I'm going to be doing that all tonight live on my Twitch stream. So I'm going to be pushing probably as high as I can go. I don't know if I can beat this guy at 325. I'm not sure. But I'm going to try very hard and see if I can pull it off. Who knows? We'll see what it is. But for you guys, make sure you're focusing on getting the highest rank that you can possibly attain. Especially if you can get top 5. That is very nice because you can secure an extra advanced module which is very good for upgrading your gear if not just make sure you play because as long as you place on the ladder you will be getting these rewards even the minimum 360 gold dust which is massive and four advancement modules and then you know of course the higher you go you'll get slightly bigger bonuses based on that so make sure you're aiming and completing that because today is sunday and it will be resetting on monday so just keep that in mind Okay, with the bygone out of the way, let's talk about another thing that you need to look for. The crew missions will be resetting today, so you'll be able to get four new crew missions on Monday. So make sure you have completed and finalized everything for the week, and you have claimed everything you need to do. And then you will get your reward once the weekly cycle hits of your dark crystals plus whatever your bonus box is. Hopefully it's dark crystals and you get lucky again, uh, but make sure to check and complete those things before the week ends. Then we are going to dive into weekly activity you can make sure you complete some of these things like this dimensional trial i'll get done later on today because i want these free matrix data packs because this xp helps and it goes a long way of course make sure you've completed the top section for your battle pass rewards as well as the gold chips which will be super important for you to save for that interdimensional frost dragon coming up because he has a lot of goodies and high drop rates for ssr weapons and then make sure you just double check your other things like make sure you've cooked 10 items to get free 2000 gold and all of those other goodies there's a lot of easy ones there low hanging fruit that you can go ahead and get and obtain for some good bonus rewards once you have that covered, I wanted to make you aware that the commissary shop will be resetting. So make sure you have bought your advancement modules and booster modules for the week from the Crystal Dust store. And then you have kind of sorted out the rest of your things. There are another section that is going to be resetting, which will be the crew. So this will shift over. So the type of shards, the type of relic shards that will be available here will be shifting to another section. So if you want space-time rift shards or whatever that may be, now's the last chance to get it before it resets for the week we have no idea what it's going to be next week but if you're saving your points up you can also aim for something better i'm looking for omnium shield myself personally so i'm kind of baking my points for now and then once you have that covered check out the support store make sure you have bought your support uh, supply chips for the week as well as the black nucleus and aiming towards that gold because that will help you along the way and getting your support point cap will definitely help you out for the week so that's going to be it for the commissary. Once you have completed the commissary, we're heading over to the wormhole. The wormhole will reset in two days, and you need to make sure you clear Ursa Major one time on the endless mode. The very first clear you do on endless mode per reset, so every five days, will give you 160 dust total. So you'll get 160 gold dust. So make sure you get that done within that two-day time span so that you can gain those rewards, and you'll also get the cycle rewards, which will be very nice as well after that make sure you check out the road of strife the special event going on right now there are a lot of goodies to obtain and we have three days left on this event currently so make sure you're obtaining all of these free red nucleus pools as well as the sr relic shard boxes and everything else you need to do make sure you're working towards that so it doesn't end up at the end of the days and then you're rushing all of a sudden to try to get all of these activities done so make sure you are good and covered for everything as far as that is concerned once you have done that, go ahead and head over and check out the Void Rift. We will have a new Void Rift boss today, and it's finally Frigg! I'm so excited. I do not have this boss, so it's one of the ones that I'm missing, so I will be able to obtain that. So I'm going to go ahead and do Frigg today, regardless if I have an attempt or not, just to collect her boss thing so I can get my free 20 Dark Crystals, as well as the Gold Nucleus, which will definitely help out a lot of people. 
So once you have that covered, then we're going into our speed run daily checklist. So we're gonna go really quickly over this. The first thing you should be doing every day is your bounties. Once you have done your bounties, check out your main story, make sure you're ready for artificial island. And following that, you could invest in your runes, but you might wanna save them for level 63 as we go forward. Then you can do Mia's Kitchen three times a day, but save them for your bygones push so you can get potentially some stronger power-ups and make sure you are clearing out your vitality on either joint operation or the three star stargates for gold materials for interstellar. Once you have done that, make sure you are capped at level 62, filled up experience, ready to go for Monday. Now we enter the extra daily checklist where you're going to want to check out the training section. Make sure you do your two trainings for the day, as well as head to the map and check out the black market for Hopkins free daily gift. Then go to see this island and get the three claw machine gifts. And after that, you're heading to High Crows to go in the machine part farm circle and get around and get like all those things, which you will use to maintain your vehicles. Once you have maintained your vehicles, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you are capped on support points by checking the team section here for the newcomer assistant. Make sure you got your 1500 support points for the day. And then finally, you'll check around the world for elemental ore like fire, lightning, and ice. Make sure you're collecting those crystals that will help you upgrade your armor. After all of that, we're pursuing things like mounts as well as vehicle parts and even achievements. So make sure that you are capping your achievements, getting close to that 2500 mark before Artificial Island comes out. All right, that's going to be it for today. Everybody, happy reset of filling all your quests and everything like that. Make sure you get everything done. We have a ton of great stuff coming into the future, including the 1.5 patch and Claudia, which is very exciting. I'm very interested to see how this will shake up the game. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell, as we have a lot more coming, including those guides for Claudia, the Artificial Island, and several other hot topics that will be going on. We also have the Twitch stream at 6 p.m. EST every day, but 5.30 p.m. EST if you want to show up early and hang out with me before time and get some questions answered, that is the best time to do so. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching the video, and we will see you in the next one.